engineers in Ghana. Hi, Billy. How are you? I'm doing well, Danny. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. All right. Uh, next to Billy, we have, um, you know, she's a well, well-known face. I mean, she's a well-known Every Saturday, look, if you don't watch, if you don't, we watch GTV, you see this woman. I mean, she's always there. But I thought she was bigger. Anyway. All right. She's in the studio with this morning. We have Dr. Elsie Abeha um, Kaufman, um, senior lecturer at the biomedical engineering department and um, the quiz master for the popular, popular brilliant science and maths quiz I watch every Saturday on our TVs. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, madam? I'm well, and you? I'm good. Good. I know that voice. <laughs> <laughs> I know You're that voice. lucky I'm not asking you science and you maths know, questions. You know, I would, I would have flopped. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they're here for an important, um, um, on an important mission, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to say I'm a very glad, proud Ghanaian, because she's the very, very first Ghanaian female to, to get this award, and um, this is the International Academic Leadership Award by the National Society of Black Engineers in the United States of America. And we're so proud that she's done this for Ghana. And um, like I said, she's the only, only first female Ghanaian to win this award. And this happened on, on Saturday, 24th of March, and we're so happy that she, she has gotten this. Congratulations, Mom. Thank you very much. Now, what has culminated in you getting this award? It's many years of hard work. Mm. A lot of the work was done quietly, but I was amazed to find out that people were observing and yeah. they knew about what I had been doing. Mm. Many people know me for the National Science and Math Quiz, just as you said. Yeah. That is actually what projected okay. publicly what I had been doing. Mm. But I came to Ghana in 2001, okay. and I was working at the University of Ghana, and my mission has been to support the youth. Okay. And being in science, mm. technology, engineering, and mathematics, mm. I have been doing a lot of work in that direction. I okay. go to tell us some, of the, tell us some of the things you do on the side, apart from the quiz you do. What, like you're saying, what are some of the integral things you're doing that has, has made you get this? Yes. So, um, I'm, first of all, I'm a lecturer okay. at the University of mm. Ghana. I teach mm. engineering. I'm in the Department of Biomedical Engineering. Wow. Wow. So, at that level, okay. I teach university students. I've been trying to do things differently. I need to challenge our students to think of how they can apply the knowledge that they have. Okay. So, that is what I do. I mm. teach engineering design. Mm. I teach tissue engineering and biomaterials. Oh. And that is at that level. Okay. I also work with uh, basic schools. Okay. junior high schools, uh, secondary schools, oh. all levels of education mm. in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Mm. I need to empower our youth to know that they can actually yeah. use the things they are learning, not just yeah. for the certificate they get, mm. but for developing mm. our nation. That's and so that's what point. I've been doing. I go to schools, I talk to students, and I talk to everyone, anyone that's who will one. listen to me. Do you get time for yourself? I try. I try to make time for myself. Mm. I mm. don't always succeed, but uh, I do try. Okay. When I see women and ladies who went to the sciences, I'm so there's something it 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 it, it, it something twitches in my mind. I, I I wonder how they do it. I mean, but um, I'll cover to you again. Let me go to um, Billy. Now you are the national of uh, for Ghana, the National Society for Black Engineers here. Yeah. And um, what what is that body all about? What is your aim? Okay, so the National Society of Black Engineers is a student-run, uh, not-for-profit organization okay. that uh, urges the youth to study uh, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Our, our aim is to uh, stimulate and develop student interest in the various STEM fields, okay. and then also become the uh, Public, uh, we create public awareness mm. uh, for engineering and its benefits, mm. and also represent as a body to be able to guide students into their profession. Okay. So how long have you guys been? Okay. So we have been here for the past 20 years. Really? This year is actually our 20th really? anniversary. Yes. Wow. We are about mainly on uh, engineering campuses. Okay. I mean, we started okay. our first uh, chapter at mm. KNUSC okay. in 1998. Oh, and wow. yeah, I mean, from here I'll be heading towards Kumasi okay. for for a commemoration okay. before coming back. I'm going to come back for you to tell us what, what you plan for the if there's enough time. What you yeah. plan for the 20th anniversary? But let, the main focus here is um, Doc. So Doc, um, on the day you were on the day you went for the award, on that particular that particular moment, what was the experience like? It was amazing. You know, I have been on stage for the National Science and Math yeah. but this was at a different level. Mm. Um, there were. 
about over 13,000 participants at 13, this conference. 000. And this was the last day. They were all gorgeously dressed. The MC was uh, MC Light. Nice, yeah. Oh, me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Interesting. And it was amazing. All the dignitaries Please were there. Please speak up for us. Everybody needs to hear yes, this. It, yes. It was wonderful. Okay. It, it was just wonderful. Mm, it was amazing. Mm. It was magical. Did you go with her? It was beautiful. No, okay, okay. Okay. So, <laughs> on that day, what were you wearing? Oh, that's another story. Because I didn't know I had actually got the award until I got to the U.S., I didn't prepare. Okay. So I had to go find something. My daughter mm. was very helpful. Okay. So I found a black dress to wear, and she said it was too boring, so I had to find a necklace to okay. <laughs> decorate it. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> yes, I wish I had taken my African print, honestly. You know, you know. You see, but I didn't know ahead. Otherwise, I would have done that. It was a big surprise. The notification yeah. came late. Very late. After yeah. I was already in the U.S. Okay. Okay. Now, this, let's zoom on the award, International Academy Leadership Award. Award. What's what's this award for? And getting this award, what are, what are, what what are the next steps for you? What are you supposed to be doing with this award? How does it enhance um, your your projects you're doing and your personal per se? All right. So it's a very important award. First of all, it's an international award. Yeah. So Nesby has. Um, uh, participation from around the world, different yeah. countries around the world. Okay. So the nomination was not just Ghana, it was nomination from around the world. Mm. And I was the first female, not just in Ghana, the first mm. female to get this award. Yeah. This is very important. First of all, it's an endorsement of being selfless, you know, doing things to benefit others. So what that means to me is that I need to do even more yeah. of what I have been yeah. doing. Yeah. And it's also an encouragement for other young ladies and mm. people from my background, very yeah. humble background, yeah. to know that it's possible to make it an, on an international scene mm. by working hard and yeah. for being uh, uh, sacrificing sometimes for others to also benefit. You know what? I'm, I'm so elated to be talking to you this morning. Um, you're making Ghanaians proud. You're making women proud. And I want to know how you are, you're empowering women when it comes to the field of science. But just hold on to your answer. We're going to take a short video and come back. Was near high school. In the electrolysis of tetra oxysulfate 6 acid solution using inert electrodes. Name the compounds that are discharged at the electrodes. Be specific. Yes, Andrews. At the cathode, oxygen gas will be discharged, and the, at the annual, hydrogen gas will be discharged. That's incorrect. For a bonus, KNUST Senior High. At the cathode, um, hydrogen gas is discharged, and at the annual, oxygen gas is discharged. Yes. <laughs> In the electrolysis of copper to tetra oxysulfate solution using copper electrodes, name the compounds that are discharged at the electrodes. Be specific. Yes, um, Andy. At the cathode, copper is discharged, and the other node, copper two plus goes into the solution. Yes. In 30 seconds, find the value of X if St. Augustine's College, the numbers, four. All right, that was Doc for you there with, with, the, with the thing she knows how to do best. There was this question I wanted to find, to find out from you. Every time I watch it, I'm like, do you ever get biased with the, with the known schools and the ones that are not too, too known? No, I does don't. Does it ever twitch like that? I don't think so. Usually, okay. I don't even keep track of who's coming next. <laughs> okay. Just show up, and then when we meet on stage, we do our business. I like it. And I so, like um, I try to be as impartial as possible. I yeah. try to be as impartial as possible. Mm. Yes. Because, mm. because I tell you, you feel that you're you're, you're towing towards one side, but it's not it's not like that at all. Never. You do well. What I school do you go to? <laughs> I went to a brick girls in those days. It was a secondary school, a brick girls secondary school. <laughs> they pause for hand. So anytime they're on your stage, how do you feel? Well, I'm happy to see them there, okay. but uh, usually I don't interact with the students yes, ahead. Yes. I don't go and train them or anything. Yes, so yes. they're usually like the others. And I like who the have way come. you mentioned the formulas at ease. This plus this and bracket this, and I'm like, how do you do this? Anyway, let's come to your award. Now, how is this going to reflect on what you're doing in Ghana? 
in the sciences. As I said, it yeah. encourages me to do even more. Okay. And so what I have been doing is to encourage people, and I will continue doing that. I'll continue working with other groups that are okay. promoting science and engineering. Mm. That's why Nesby is very close yeah. to me. I'm going to continue my work with Nesby as well. Okay. And yeah. then we have, that's, that's the award? Was yes, that, it? Oh, yes. Okay. that was the day. You see my dress. Yeah, I've seen your rather, dress. I've rather seen boring, it. according to my daughter. <laughs> no, but, but your hair complimented. It was beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. It was you very beautiful. Much. Looking so sweet. It huh? was wonderful. You it was know? a great day. So, are you forming any group, any science group, anything? Way forward. Way forward. Like I said, I'll yeah. continue working hard. Okay. We have the National Science and Math Quiz coming up okay. very soon. Yeah. I'll yeah. be on that. Okay. I'm going to be working with Nesby on the 20th yeah. anniversary celebrations, okay. Okay. and I'm going to continue the activities that I, I, I do. There's right. also the national uh, core subjects quiz, which I'm helping with. I'm encouraging okay. the young men who are running that. That's nice. Mm -hmm. All right, um, quickly, we, we need to be going soon. Um, tell me, the activities you lined up for your 20th anniversary. So, uh, since Kane University is the first campus chapter that we had, okay. today we'll be uh, commemorating the celebration over there and then we bring everything back to Accra. In May, we will launch it um, nationwide okay. in, a, in an Accra. Okay. Then in August, we will do the rest of the celebration. All of them will happen at the University of Ghana okay. Engineering Faculty. All right, okay. So let me take your last word. Uh, Madam will be the, the last to talk, your last word. Okay, so I'm, I'm looking forward for more ladies to be empowered and okay. carry through engineering yeah. so as that we could solve um, the critical challenges that we are facing when it comes to engineering okay. in Ghana. Okay. Yeah. All right, so the, um, the first Ghanaian female to win this award, the International Ad uh, Academic Leadership Award by National Society of Black Engineers in the United States of America, the 44th edition in Pittsburgh, uh, Pennsylvania. Um, she's going to give us the last word. The whole of Ghana is watching you. We love you so much. Tell the young girls something out there. Tell education is something out there. And tell G is something, and then we end. All right. So this has been a great opportunity for me personally, but this doesn't happen in a vacuum. So I actually dedicate this award to my mentees, to my students, to all the young people who have been part of my story. I wish to encourage them to keep going, and there are great things ahead of us. Okay. Yes, and I would like to thank everyone. I have seen so many words of encouragement, mm. so many congratulatory messages. Mm. I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has been sending me messages and who has been rooting for me. Thank you, Ghana. Thank you. <laughs> all thank right, you, all right. Thank you so much. I think Billy, you're doing a very great job. So, so, so I've had so in the studio Billy James, director of programs for the National Society of um, Black Engineers in Ghana. Thank you so much and all the best in your endeavors. Thank and then you. also we had the award winner, the sweet, the sweet Dr. Elsa Becker Kaufman, senior lecturer at um, Biomedical Engineering Department, University of Ghana, Legon. And um, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for making Ghana proud. And I wish you all the best in your endeavors as well. Thank you. All right. Now, the show is on, and the paper, newspaper review segment is next. Don't go nowhere.